On this episode of Ready Academy, our kids will learn about the different organs inside their bodies and what it takes to have a strong immune system. Hi, mommies! This is Teacher K of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program where we believe that learning can be fun, meaningful, and exciting. We provide our kids with learning experiences about the world through creative, imaginative, and meaningful activities. Welcome to our classroom! Today's lesson will be about some of the basic organs in our bodies. It's important that kids understand their bodies kahit hindi nila nakikita ang mga organs sa loob ng kanilang katawan. We will be showing our kids five out of the many basic human organs through this simple but colorful activity. For understanding what's inside the body activity, we will be needing blank scratch paper, a marker, colored pencils or crayons, adhesive tape, and scissors. Skin is the first organ we will talk about. Skin is the largest part of our body. It protects and covers the inside of our bodies. So to illustrate, let's draw an outline of a kid's body. And then after that, you can let your kids color and decorate it. So we will start with the head. And then the neck. And then let's draw the arms. With the little fingers. And the other arm. And then the trunk of the body. Then the legs with the little toes. And there you have it. Now, we're going to draw and make cutouts of the different organs using a separate sheet of paper, like this. So to draw the brain, we need to draw an oval. So something like this. And then we'll good drawing tie ng curvy patterns. Then let's color it. So I will be using orange for today, but you can let your kids use any color that they like. This will be the brain. You can let your kids know that the brain controls a lot of their body function, their muscles, their speech, and their memory. Next naman ay ang ating lungs. To draw this, your kids will need to draw two big letter Ds. One for your left lung, and one for your right lung. Then let's draw an upside down letter Y, connect both of them. Alright, now I will color it. This time, I think I want to use um, yellow for my upside down letter Y. And then maybe brown for the lungs. This will be our lungs. Our lungs help us breathe. Pag nag inhale tayo, nag expand ang ating lungs kasi pumapasok ang air galing sa ating nose at sa mouth. Next is the heart. To draw a heart, let's make a mango shape. So, a mango shape like this. And then, let's draw some lines on top. Alright, then I will be coloring my heart. color for the lines. Right. This will be the heart. Mommies, did you know that the size of the heart is like the size of our fist? 
this organ pumps blood to bring oxygen and nutrients to the different parts of the body. Now you can ask your kids to feel their heartbeat. Do they feel it? Great! It means their heart is working perfectly well. Next, we will draw the stomach. Now this organ is shaped like a letter J. So we're going to draw a J shape. Like this. And then we're just going to go around it and close it over here. All right? let me color my stomach with yellow. This is the stomach. This is where the food that we eat gets stored and broken down. Now that we're done decorating our organs, it's now time to decorate the outline of the body. So let me use this color for the head. It's a big body, so they can make it colorful. They can use one color. It's really up to them to make it their own. And we're going to move on to our other leg. Okay, now that I'm done decorating the outline of the body, it's now time to cut out the organs. Now, let's gather all the cutouts of the organs. Then let's ask your kids to try to place them correctly. And then while they're doing this, you could also ask them the function of each. For example, let's start with the brain. The brain goes here. And the function of the brain is... That's correct. It controls the body function, like your muscles, your speech, and your memory. And then let's go to our lungs. So the lungs will be placed around here. And the function of the lungs? Correct. It helps us breathe. Now we go to our heart. So we place our heart near the left lung. So around this area. So it's almost the center but leaning towards the left side. And the function of the heart? That's right. It pumps blood so that oxygen and nutrients will go to the other parts of the body. And lastly, we have the stomach. So the stomach goes over here. And again, the function of the stomach. This is where the food that we eat gets stored and broken down. These are just some of the many organs in our bodies that work together in protecting our body from getting sick. Mommies, let's remind our kids that when one body organ is sick, the rest would not be able to function and get sick as well. Now it's time to be more creative by letting your kids decorate the picture and then ask them to write their names on top so that they remember that this is their body and that they have to take care of it. So two dots here, and then my nose, and then a smiling face. Then I will draw some of my hair here. So again, let your kids be very, very creative with this. Then to remind me that this is me, let me write my name, Teacher K. And there you have it, a picture of my body. We might not see our organs, but they're working very hard to make us strong. Kaya naman kailangan natin sila tulungan by eating properly, staying active, and drinking our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink. For more ideas, go to the Ready e Academy playlist at the Nestle Philippines channel where you'll see fun and meaningful activities updated every week. On Saturday, July 25, we'll be having a Facebook Live session. One of our Galileo teachers will guide you through an activity that helps teach your kids the importance of caring for the environment. Just tune in to Bear Brown Powdered Milk Drink Facebook page on Saturday, 5 p.m. We'll see you then! This has been Teacher K of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, and I'll see you in the next Ready e Academy. Nestle. Good food, good life.